What do you want to think of first when you rescue an animal? First of all, thank you for rescuing an animal. I think it's awesome that you're doing that. If you rescue an animal from a pet store or from a flea market, you didn't rescue the animal. You just bought it from somebody who's gonna sell more. So don't, don't do that. Go to, go to a rescue, get the animal there, and everybody will be happier. Do you want a cat or a dog? That's the first thing you probably have to think about. With dogs, there are a couple of things that you need to think about. Lifestyle is number one. What do you want from a dog? What do you want to be doing with this dog? Is it a dog that you're gonna be hiking with? Is it a dog that's gonna be hanging around your house and just cuddling with you all the time and maybe going out for a couple of walks a day? Is it a dog that you're gonna be using to pick up chicks? I don't know. For instance, an older person, who doesn't get out and exercise a lot probably does not want to get a puppy that's super high energy. That's going to be a bad fit and nobody's going to be happy with that. If you have kids, you might want to think about either getting a puppy that you can train to be used to kids and being comfortable around kids, or if you rescue an adult dog, really checking out to make sure this dog is comfortable with kids. Kids aren't always acting like adults and especially toddlers and little kids. They look like just drunk humans and are weird and dogs don't like it sometimes. So you gotta be really sure that they're comfortable with it. If you have kids, it's a good idea, maybe not to take the kids on the first time. Go and look at the animals first. See what you think might be good. And then when you go back to visit another time, take the kids with you. But the more research you can do, the better. Probably the, mo the second most important thing is to have a game plan for the whole family. Just making sure that all the rules of what you're going to have this dog be doing, everybody agrees on it. Is the dog gonna be all out on the bed? Is the dog gonna be allowed on the couch? Yes or no? Is it gonna be living inside? Is it gonna be living once in a while outside, but mostly inside, because they should be living inside mostly, especially here where it's really hot in Southern California. There are a lot of benefits to getting an adult dog versus a puppy. People always like to get the puppies because they are super cute and there's uh, a lot you can do as far as training a puppy and socializing it into what you want it to be. However, with an adult dog, there are plenty of benefits. Number one, what you see is what you get. In other words, they're not going to change their personality a whole, whole bunch. So you can pretty much know what you're gonna be living with. Uh, with a puppy, that's not always true. A lot of adult dogs that you get at the shelter are already trained. I can't tell you how many times people go bring in a dog and they're like, I, I don't know, it came there and it already knows how to sit and down and it's already potty trained. Third thing is size. You know how big they're gonna be. Sometimes with the puppies, you go to a shelter and you get this little puppy, you're like, oh, it's the cutest little chihuahua puppy that ends up being 45 pounds. With an adult dog, you don't have that. You know what it's gonna be. With an adult dog, a lot of people are afraid that they're gonna get this dog and it's not potty trained. If an adult dog is not potty trained, it really doesn't take it any longer to potty train than it does a puppy. And in fact, probably less time. They pick up on things fast. As soon as you give them the new rules, they're cool with it. I think with rescuing a cat, there are probably some different questions you wanna ask than with a dog. There are, of course, adult versus kitten, um, and kittens are, of course, adorable, but they are more work than adults. Um, probably the most important thing is how is this cat gonna fit into your household? One thing to think about is uh, what cats get adopted more than others. Um, surprisingly, color plays into that a lot, and especially uh, black cats. Black cats are adopted much less commonly than other cats, which I don't understand why. Black cats are just fine. A lot of people ask me about rescuing animals and behavior problems in general. Are cats more prone to having behavior problems than dogs? Uh, I would say no. A lot of cats, they are just too many cats for the world at this point. There are not enough homes for the cats that we have, and people, they end up at shelters. Um, but the behaviors aren't necessarily more difficult to train out. A lot of what you do with a cat is going to, as far as dealing with its behavior problems, is going to be prep work. You want to make sure that you know where this cat is going to be staying and you do everything you can to make sure that that cat's new home is going to be a comfortable home for it. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about what to do with your new rescue dog or cat, keep watching.